so namaste dear students hope you people are doing good and uh, your family members also doing well so today i am here to start your uh, accounting for holding company accounts so for that we need to learn the steps so that is working notes are very very important in this lesson so you must understand the working note so let us understand the working note in your book they have given a bit uh, you know complicated uh, that means little uh, lengthier working note so which i am making it uh, uh, squeezing it to the requirement of our uh, you know problem solving so to that extent i am minimizing it so that is why that minimized working note format now i am sharing so you also copy that and uh, we will solve first problem today okay so take down the following the following are are the steps are the steps to be followed to be followed while while preparing while preparing consolidated while preparing consolidated balance sheet consolidated balance sheet of holding company of holding company okay so now i am going to teach you step by step so let us understand and at the same time copy to your notebook so step number 1 in this calculation calculation of ratios of holding and minorities and minorities okay see in this step we are going to identify the ratios of holding and minorities company so what ratio to be shared so after that in the step 2 step number 2 we are going to calculate minority interest so calculation calculation of minority minority interest minority interest so to calculate minority interest what are all the things to be considered so first take down cost of shares held by held by minorities held by minorities so add add total profits total profits of minorities total profits of minorities in subsidiary in subsidiary company in subsidiary company next add total reserves total reserves of minorities in subsidiary company in subsidiary company in subsidiary company so at a short we will calculate this and we will write the total year okay so this is the second step so next is step 3 step 
here you write calculation calculation of cost of cost of control cost of control of holding company holding company cost of control of holding company holding company investments investments of holding company holding company holding company in subsidiary in subsidiary company in subsidiary company usually you will get confusion so which amount to be taken so which part of the amount to be taken okay so remember that you are going to always take this value so that is in the balance sheet asset side there will be share capital value okay so in the balance sheet asset side asset side asset side there will be one value called share share uh, capital like that so that item we are going to take for this okay so then less face value of investment less face value face value of investments less face value of investments then add goodwill add goodwill so just add the value of goodwill then after this step less capital reserves less capital reserves so deduct the capital reserves so whatever you will get the difference we call that as a cost of control so we call it as a cost of control cost of control okay so then after this we have to go for step 4 step 4 so in this so step 4 you have to do the calculation calculation of calculation of calculation of pre and post pre and post pre and post acquisition pre and post acquisition pre and post acquisition acquisition reserves acquisition reserves calculation of pre and post acquisition profits not reserves so, so profits profits of profits of holding holding company so that is by by considering by considering the ratios by considering the ratios by considering the ratios of holding company that is pre and post pre and pro post profits is calculated pre and pre and post profit is going to be calculated next is step 5 usually um, many of the student uh, do it in seven steps 
so you have to uh, prepare a consolidated balance sheet we require five steps so i'm concising it to five steps only okay uh, so you also follow that calculation calculation of pre and post pre and post acquisition pre and post acquisition reserves reserves of holding company by considering by considering the ratio of by considering the ratio of holding company by considering the ratio of holding company so these are the step which we do consider while solving the problem okay so anyways uh, we are done with these steps so with the same spirit uh, let us start the solution part of this particular problem okay so shall we start yes okay then we'll start with the first problem so dear students uh, i hope you have understood the steps to be followed while solving the problem so let us start a problem on accounting for holding company so in that uh, today we are solving first problem that is problem number 1 which has been asked in the uh, year december 2008 question paper so let us look into the problem you also copy the problem to your notebook from the balance sheets given below prepare a consolidated balance sheet of h company and its subsidiary s company as on 31st 12 2007 so there are two companies one is called h company and another one is called s company okay so now i am going through the liability side so to write down the uh, questions liability side we have a uh, six columns so i'll read out liabilities h limited s limited assets h limited s limited h limited amount column s limited amount column in the assets side also we have h limited amount column s limited amount column okay so let us finish off first liability side the first item in the liability side is share capital share capital h limited 2 lakh 40000 rupees and s limited 60000 rupees so write down share capital under that write down shares of rupees 10 each close the bracket then start to write in the amount column against share capital h limited 2 lakh 40000 and under s limited 60000 rupees next move on to the general reserve so under general reserve so go to h limited amount column write down 50000 rupees and in s limited 12000 rupees then we have profit and loss account h limited 44000 rupees s limited 18000 rupees 18000 rupees then creditors h limited 30000 rupees and s limited 10000 rupees the total of h limited 364000 s limited total 1 lakh rupees so now go to the asset side so in the asset side write down first item buildings h limited 1 lakh 44000 rupees s limited 50000 rupees then we have machinery h limited 60000 rupees s limited 20000 rupees then move on to the next item stock h limited 36000 rupees s limited 6000 rupees then go to the debtors h limited 44000 rupees s limited 14000 rupees then go to the bank h limited 10000 rupees 
yes limited 10000 rupees next item is shares in s company 5000 shares of rupees 10 each so whatever i read that should come in asset column that is shares in s company 5000 shares of rupees 10 each and in h limited amount column write down 70000 rupees how much 70000 rupees so now both the column total 364000 h limited and s limited total is 1 lakh rupees okay so after that we have to look into the adjustment part so adjustment says at the date of acquisition of shares by h company limited of its holding in s company the latter had undistributed profits the latter had undistributed profits and reserves amounting to rupees 6000 and rupees 4000 respectively creditors of h limited includes rupees 10000 payable to yes company limited payable to yes company limited so this is the problem so now we are supposed to do the solution for this particular problem so if you know the uh, steps that is what i taught you that are uh, six steps it is very easy to do the solve the problem so you have to learn the steps first then you can start solving the problem clear so first you need to learn to solve the steps okay so let us start the solution part without any further delay okay so dear students so let us start the solution for problem number 1 which has been asked in the year november december 2008 question paper problem okay so we are doing the solution <coughs> so to do the solution so you need to know what the steps i believe you have learned the step so step number 1 step 1 so in step 1 what are we going to do we calculate the ratio right so write down calculation calculation of ratio of holding holding and minorities holding and minorities holding and minorities value of shares value of shares so now we have to calculate the ratio clear so to calculate the uh, shares ratio so first we ne- we need to know which company is minority i mean uh, having a less number of shares and what is the total number of shares held by holding company okay so now i'll show you in the question paper so just have a look because uh, since it is a first problem i'm showing it here so from next onwards i'll be explaining and you have to follow this okay so look at this is the question paper correct share capital h company 240 s company 60000 what is the face value of share 10 rupees so then this is number of shares is 60000 divided by 10 6000 240000 divided by 10 24000 shares clear so this is the less number of shares so this is going to be a parent company and this is going to be a subsidiary company okay so now how do we identify subsidiary company see parent company always have a investment in subsidiary company see look at here in the asset side share is in s company 5000 shares how many shares 5000 shares of rupees 10 each but they have paid 70000 rupees so these one two these points you should remember so now we are going to calculate 60000 divided by 10 6000 out of 6000 how many shares held by uh, the parent company 
5000 shares is held by the parent company so rest 1000 shares out of this 60000 6000 shares if 5000 is invested by h company then rest of 1000 shares is invested by external party clear so that is how we are going to calculate here in this problem so in this first step okay so take down total value of shares so what is the total value of shares of s company limited i shown you in the liability side 60000 clear divided by face value of the share so what is the face value 10 rupees so what is the number of shares you got so number of shares you will get as 6000 shares correct so out of this 6000 shares H company acquired how many? 5000 shares. So external parties that is minorities 1000. So what is common here? 5000. Clear. 000000 common. I have cancelled it. So therefore I got the ratio of 5 is to 1. I got the ratio of 5 is to 1. Clear. Clear. So the ratio would be like 5 by 6 is to 1 by 6 remember this majority for 5 by 6 minority for 1 by 6 5 by 6 is to 1 by 6 5 plus 1 6 5 by 6 5 plus 1 6 1 by 6 okay so understood first step yes then we'll go move on to the step number two step number two calculation of minority interest calculation of minority interest calculation of minority interest okay so let us calculate cost of shares held by held by minorities held by minorities so what is the number of shares held by minorities 1000 majority is 5000 so minority is 1000 correct so here we have to calculate like this so 1000 shares into what is the face value 10 rupees into 10 so that is equals to 10000 rupees okay then add add total profits total profits so how much is the profits hmm? see i'll show you again here in the question paper only see total profits profit and the loss account in s limited 18000 general reserve in s limited 12000 remember profit and loss 18000 s limited because we are calculating for this 60,000, that means 6,000 shares. So, everything you should take it from here. So, profit and loss 18,000, general reserve 12,000. So, remember this. So, now total profits. So, how much you have profits? Yes, 18,000, right? 18,000 into what is the uh, ratio of this minority? 1 divided by 6, I said, right? 1 by 6. So, now calculate, use the calculator. 18,000 into 1 divided by 6 that is 3,000 write down 3,000 okay so the same way add total reserves total reserves so what is the total reserves the reserves I, I have shown you 12,000 correct 12,000 into 1 divided by 6 calculate 12,000 into 1 divided by 6 so that comes to 2000 rupees 2000 so now total 10 plus 3 13 13 plus 2 15000 so total 15000 so this is we call it as a minority interest minority interest okay so then step 3 step 3 calculation of cost of control of holding company calculation of cost 
of calculation of cost of control of holding company holding company okay so under that take the investment so how much investment has been made by the holding company uh, for the subsidiary company which is given in the asset side which has been given in the asset side so you should consider this value okay you should consider this value shares in s company so how much value 70000 for 5000 shares how much they have paid 70000 rupees so you should remember whenever you calculate the cost of control of holding company you should consider this value so 70000 so that i am considering here so investment made 70000 rupees correct so investment 70000 less face value less face value of shares face value of shares so that is 5000 into 10 so that comes to 50000 50000 so deduct it so how much you will get 20000 so this is what extra money paid so this amount which is paid extra is always considered as paid towards goodwill of the company so goodwill so i am considering it as a goodwill so next is step four step four so your calculation calculation of pre and post acquisition pre and post acquisition of profits 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 of holding company profits of holding company okay so now pre and post we have to calculate okay so first let us take pre acquisition so which has been given in the adjustment at last okay so if you see the adjustment you will get to know that is pre see here he says clearly at the date of acquisition of shares by h company limited of its holding uh, in s company the la later had undistributed profit and reserves 6000 and 4000 undistributed profit 6000 and reserve 4000 remember this 6000 is profit 4000 is reserve which has been not undistributed respectively creditors of h limited includes rupees 10000 payable to s company limited so there is a creditors which includes rupees 10000 which has to be payable to s company limited so this is we call it as a mutual transfer remember we call this as a mutual transfer 10000 so now you should remember three items profits 6000 reserves 4000 then mutual transfers 10000 okay so pre undistributed profit 6000 so how much we have pre undistributed profit 6000 right yes 6000 so what is the majority ratio we have got 5 by 6 so that is 5 by 6 correct so calculation of post acquisition profit of holding company so when you are saying holding company so that means you should take a majority so that means 5 divided by 6 so if you do that you are going to get 5000 rupees so this has to be transferred to capital reserve remember so you have to transfer this to capital reserve so next we have post so post acquisition profit how much that you have got in your balance sheet sorry in this problem only has given that is profit and loss account 18000 general reserve 12000 this is post okay so that you should remember so post is how much profit 18000 into 5 by 6 you do it again 18000 into 5 divided by 6 correct 18000 into 5 divided by 6 so that we are going to get
एटीन थाउजेंड सॉरी यू हैव टू डू वन मोर एडजस्टमेंट माइनस सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस सिक्स थाउजेंड सो दैट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इन टू फाइव बाई सिक्स सो वॉट इज दिस माइनस सिक्स थाउजेंड दिस इज प्री एक्विजिशन सो वी हैव टू डिडक्ट आउट ऑफ पोस्ट सो एटीन माइनस सिक्स इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इंटू फाइव बाई सिक्स जो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इंटू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो दैट कम्स टू टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो दिस टेन थाउजेंड नीड्स टू बी ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट सो इट शुड बी ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट रिमेंबर ओके वाइल सॉल्विंग वाइल प्रिपेरिंग कंसॉलिडेट बैलेंस शीट सो नाउ वी आर डन विद द प्रॉफिट पार्ट सो नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट फॉर रिजर्व रिजर्व वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग नाउ ओके सो अंडर रिजर्व फॉर प्री एक्विजिशन हाउ मच आई सेट फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज विच इज इन दी एडजस्टमेंट सो फाइव बाई सिक्स सो कैलकुलेट फोर थाउजेंड इंटू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो दैट कम्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी रुपीज ट्रांसफर दिस टू सी आर अकाउंट दैट इज कैपिटल रिजर्व अकाउंट देन पोस्ट पोस्ट एक्विजिशन हाउ मच इज गिवन सो दैट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड राइट सो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड माइनस दिस फोर थाउजेंड सो दैट प्री एक्विजिशन हैज टू बी डिडक्टेड सो यू विल गेट एट थाउजेंड इन टू फाइव बाई सिक्स सो नाउ डू इट एट थाउजेंड इन टू फाइव बाई सिक्स सो एट थाउजेंड इन टू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवन दिस नीड्स टू बी ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट सो रिमेंबर दिस शुड बी ट्रांसफर टू सी आर सी आर these two should be transferred to profit profit okay so we are done with this working note part so let us move to the words the preparation of consolidated balance sheet shall we prepare consolidated balance sheet yes okay so we'll start consolidated balance sheet now right away so this consolidated balance sheet we'll also prepare in the vertical form only okay okay so let me prepare we'll have two amount columns and particulars column okay so now give the heading for this table that is consolidated consolidated balance sheet of h company limited h company limited so let us write it particulars rupees rupees so clear till now yes first main so we always take that is share capital so how much is the share capital so you should only consider h company limited so how much share capital h company limited they have given in the question 240000 so directly i am taking 240000 rupees okay so second main we always get reserves and surplus reserves and surplus reserves and surplus so how much reserves and surplus we have so general reserve 50000 rupees he has given general reserve 50000 rupees he has given so directly take that general reserve general reserves okay so i am taking it directly as a 50000 rupees as it is he has given in the h company limited then he has given profit and loss account so profit 
and loss account okay so under profit and loss account so h company limited so h company limited column how much you have 44000 write down 44000 okay then add 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 profits add profit add profit so you will get this answer from step number four always you should remember in step number four so check out profits so there is a ten thousand rupees which i have uh, written next to it as a profit so that should be transferred to profit ten thousand rupees so below that out of reserve also i have taken some profit so that is profit that also we need to transfer okay so you write it as profit post acquisition profit post acquisition so you don't get confusion step number four so again profit post acquisition okay so i got this profit from where from reserves so i'm mentioning that so that you you will get a clarity 6667 6667 okay clear or do you have any doubts no right fine so then total it and put it to outer column so that comes to how much if you total use the calculator so that comes to 60,667 rupees. So next we have to take capital reserves under this. Capital reserves. That is CR. Capital reserves. So which you have written as a CR. So in the step 4 again this is also from step 4 okay so i have written next to it as a cr so that is post acquisition so how much you have profit there five thousand rupees correct in the first one so five thousand rupees plus again we have out of reserves this is out of profit next out of reserves three thousand 333 3333 3. okay so total it put it to outer column step number four so 8333 rupees okay so after this third step we have to take non-current liabilities so if you have any long-term loan and all that you need to take so long non-current liabilities so there are no long term uh, liabilities here so non current liabilities so i'm just marking it as a nil so next is fourth step current liabilities current liabilities what are all current liabilities you have you need to take under this so first you have to take creditors you need to take creditors so write down creditors so how much creditors they have given in the problem 30000 rupees open the bracket and write 30000 plus s company limited creditors 10000 rupees minus there is adjustment which i told you you should remember creditors related to so i am showing it again creditors of h limited includes rupees 10000 payable to s company limited so for s company limited we have to pay so we call this as a mutual transfer mutual transfer that should be deducted so deduct this so you will get again 30000 rupees so 30000 i am marking here okay so after all this you have to add minority interest under current liability minority interest so how much you got minority interest step number 2 step 2 minority interest how much you got 15000 rupees so add that and close it add it and close it find the total now 
find the total so how much you will get 240000 plus 50000 plus 60667 plus 8333 plus 30000 plus 15000 so total i got 4 lakh 4000 rupees so my total is 4 lakh 4000 rupees okay 4 lakh 4000 rupees is the total which i got so next shall we move further hmm? yes so let us move further towards asset side so now we are doing asset so after fourth step we have a fifth step here so that is going to be our assets so first we will take non current non current assets non current assets so that is nothing but fixed assets fixed assets okay so first you take buildings buildings so what is the building value of h company limited 1 lakh 44000 1 lakh 44000 correct so i'll write here 1 lakh 44000 so this is h company what is the value of s company now s company is 50000 rupees so write 50000 rupees so 1 lakh 44 plus 50000 rupees so h company and s company limited together that comes to 1 lakh 94000 rupees 1 lakh 94000 rupees so we are done with the building so next go for machinery same way no changes in that machinery h company and s company so h company value of machinery how much 60000 rupees s company value of machinery is 20,000 rupees correct so now add both and put it to outer column 60 plus 20 80,000 rupees okay so next after that goodwill so how much goodwill you have identified so step 3 so that is step 3 we will get this from step 3 so how much you will get you got 20,000 right so I am mentioning that 20,000 here so now we have to go for current assets current assets current assets so how much what are all the items so we have stock so first take down stock H and S so H company stock 36,000 and S company stock 6,000 so 36,000 plus 6,000 so put together how much 36 plus 6 that comes to 42,000 right 42,000 so then take debtors debtors H company and S company H company 44,000 and S company 14,000 okay that mutual transfer which has been given in the adjustment that you need to take here so that you have to deduct that you have to deduct so less mutual transfer this is add so now add and deduct 44 plus 14 that is 58,000 minus 10,000 48,000 48,000 outer column okay so then we have to take bank so bank bank balance of H company 10,000 yes company 10,000 so if you total both the amount bank balance you are going to get as 20,000 rupees 20,000 rupees so I think that's all I have covered everything so now total it if your total gets tallied so then your problem is correct your solution is correct so let me take check 1 lakh 94 thousand 
प्लस एटी थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड प्लस फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो दैट कम्स टू फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड सो फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड द प्रॉब्लम गॉट टैलिट सो वी आर डन विद दिस प्रॉब्लम क्लियर सो सी फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड टोटल लाइबिलिटीज टोटल एसेट्स फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड सो इट गॉट टैलिट so the uh, solution what we did is correct okay so this is the shortcut method which, which i have uh, taught you now so practice it it is very easy compare comparably if you compare with other methods which has been followed by other colleges okay so i'll come back soon with one more video till then take care see you soon bye bye stay safe stay home take care bye bye